Fabricating Fringe. My name's Amber, and today I'm sharing this beautiful wig for Mima Wigs. This is a John Renault wig, and this is called Rachel. I've done a review on Rachel before. I love Rachel. She is a favorite of many. This is a beautiful, fun color from John Renault's Arctic collection, and this is called Frost. This is like a baby pink, soft, very light color and it's gorgeous. It's probably one of my favorite out of their Arta collection. I've only tried this and a blue one, but um, from what I can see in the photos, this is definitely a favorite. I have a thing for just pink, whether it be hot pink or baby pink. I just, I just, I don't know what it is. I have a thing for pink. Um, anyway, this one does not disappoint, especially on Rachel. It is so, so pretty on this wig. I don't know if it's just because Rachel is so natural looking with the waves and then the pink um, obviously isn't natural, but paired together, I don't know, match made in heaven. Let's talk about Frost and then we will move on to Rachel. So Frost is the color FS60 slash PKS18. Um, this is pure white with pink blended, shaded with dark natural ash blonde. So what they mean by shaded with dark natural ash blonde, it means that it's rooted with that dark ashy. I would say it's like, honestly, I would say it's like a dark, or I mean a light ashy brunette almost, either or. Cause look at my hair. I have like an ashy light brunette and they're claiming this to be a dark ashy blonde. So dark blonde or light brunette, I guess same difference. Well, I don't know, but both are ashy and it matches my bio hair. The rooting pretty well. Obviously it doesn't match very well right here, but the rooting of that ashy color is a close match. Now the rest of this, obviously, like I said, is the pure white with the pink. And that's what creates that soft, frosty shade. It's so pretty. Who has frost? This has been out for a while. I mean, not forever. <laughs> it's new, but you know, people, people know about this color and people have been trying to get their hands on it. It's sold out in a lot of um, stores and stuff. So it might be on back order, but Oh, it's so pretty. It is pretty. Okay, so let's talk about Rachel. Um, she has been reviewed by many, many people. A lot of people love Rachel. Um, I think it's just going to be one of those wigs that uh, people just gravitate to because of the length, because of how natural it looks. It's um, just one of those classic styles that looks so good on everyone. Um, I like that these waves are so just boho beachy. They're very loose. Yeah, they're very loose and beachy, very relaxed. And then it has this bang, this, this little bang up front, which I think is really cute. You don't necessarily need to wear it with the bang because it does have that lace front, if you can see that. So this is a smart lace wig. Okay, so Rachel is synthetic fiber. That means you want to use your wide tooth comb when you brush through her. Another thing that I really like to use is the John Renault detangling spray. Um, I just I just love using that um, before every wear. It's gonna make the synthetic fiber just last longer and look better. So just a little tip there. Um, since this fiber is synthetic, you don't want to get near like ovens and heat. You can change the curl, add more curl or straighten if you were to steam it. But otherwise, this wave, this beautiful style is baked into the wig. When you wash it, it will dry in this beautiful style as is. That's the wonderful thing about synthetic hair. It's so simple. I just love that you just wash, shake and go and here is this gorgeous style, the way that it comes. Anyway, 
Who wants to mess with Rachel though, right? I love these waves. Okay, so I have a swiveling chair. We'll see if I can do a turnaround of Rachel. I don't know. This will be tricky. This whole setup, my bathroom, you know, where I was doing the reviews before, it's just not usable at the moment. So we're improvising. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the color very well. Let me go really close. I know it's dark out here. I don't know. But you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> anyway. So there is the turnaround of Rachel. Let's take her off and show you guys the inside of the cap. Okay, so Rachel features John Renault's smart lace front. It's 100% hand tied. She also has a monofilament top, which is also 100% hand tied. Having this allows you to wear the hair off the face. Um, it allows you to part the hair every which way. It looks like natural hair growth. The product weight of Rachel is 4.5 ounces. This is fully hand tied. This is stretch cap, so it's very comfortable. Um, that means that not only do you have that lace front, the monofilament top, but the remaining area of this wig cap is also 100% hand tied. That means that the movement of this wig looks very, very natural. It's very comfortable and it like contours to your head really, really well. Um, it's comfortable with that stretch lace right here. It has that velvet ear tab with the bendable wire. It also has that extended velvet nape with the tabs so you can uh, make it looser or tighter so it will fit your head more true to size. I love fully hand tied wigs. I just think they're very comfortable. Of course, the wefted wigs, they're breathable. They um, have a lower price point and they look just as good. But if you wanted to wear this up in a ponytail, you wanted to do a little bit more creative styling, some braids and things like that, I feel like a fully hand tied wig is just slightly easier to do so because it's, you know, little hairs all over the cap. Okay, so let's put Rachel back on and we'll talk about the lengths. Now this is an average size wig. Uh, John Renault does have many wigs in small and large sizes. I feel like John Renault's very, um, as far as their uh, wigs go, their, their normal size, um, average size wig. It's it's true to size average. I have a very average size head and these ones fit me like a glove. I love that this has the lace front and monofilament top because one thing I love about alternative hair wearing is I want to be able to wear my wigs however I want. I want to be able to um, wear the hair as if it's my own without any limitations. So by having the ability to um, part it wherever, pull it back, create a style, braid it, whatever. That makes me super thrilled. Of course, with wigs that have a left monofilament part or um, their full cap, you can, you know, you can do all sorts of things to make them work. But if I had a choice, I would choose something that has the ability to um, be pulled off the face and part every which way. Okay, so let's talk about the lengths of Rachel. All right, so to me, I feel like Rachel is like the perfect length. She's not super duper long, but she has some beautiful length. You can still do all sorts of fun things with her. You can put her in a ponytail, pigtails, pull her up in an updo, and she has some great length there, but not so long that she's getting in your way. She's super duper hot. She's getting super duper tangly, super duper duper duper. I guess that's my word today. No, not a good word. <laughs> okay, but you get my point. I just love the length of Rachel. The front of Rachel is seven inches. The crown is 15 inches. 
Your sides are also 15 inches and your nape is 10 inches. And of course you do have that front little bang that kind of tapers on into the rest of the style. So as you can tell, it does have these beautiful tousled beachy, um, airy loose waves, but it has some slight uh, layering as well. It's, it's just an awesome wig, bottom line. What do you guys think of Rachel? You guys can find Rachel and many other wigs over there at Mima Wigs. Uh, Michelle has so many brands. Um, you know, she can help you with all of your needs. She has all of the John Renault line. Um, you can get products and whatever you need over there at Mimo. Um, I will have all her links and all her social media platform links down below. I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and watching. And I wanted to thank Michelle for giving me the opportunity to share this beautiful pink wig with you guys today. Um, let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if there's any specific things you'd like me to include in my future reviews. And um, again, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you guys very much. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.